All right, Logic Lemur back. Got another Sudoku. This one is called H is for Happy Birthday by Rat Finks. Uh, I don't know the backstory on this one, but I guess it's somebody's birthday. Let's see, does it say anything in the rules? No, okay. Maybe I'll look that up and get back to it and put it in the description or something along those lines. But let's look at the rules and get started. So it's normal Sudoku rules apply. Well, this is a six by six, so it's not your normal, normal Sudoku. So every row, column, and two by three box contains the digits one through six once each. The red line is a region band. It's divided into different sections each time it crosses a box border. The sums of these sections need to form consecutive sequence of values which can appear in any order along the line. Okay, so that means every time it crosses over, it creates a sum. Consecutive sequence of values. Okay, we're gonna come back to that once we finish the rules here. So we've got crop key rules apply, but not every crop key dot is necessarily given. So crop key dots are, uh, there's two of them. There's the white version, which means the digits connected by a white dot must be consecutive. So if this was a one, this would have to be a two. If this was a four, this could be a three or a five. And we've got black crop key dots, which means the two connected digits are in a two to one ratio. So this is one, this would be two. If this was four, this would have to be two because you can't go up to eight on a six by six. Um, anyway. Those are the rules. I think the region ban is going to be a little tricky to understand or get started with, but let's give it a try and see what happens. So, where to start? I usually like to start on crop key dots. And it might be good for that, because since I can't go up to 8, it does lessen some of the options. So these would have to be one, two, three, four, and six. Um, what does that do? Well, it's a five in one of these and a five in one of these. How helpful is that? So the six to the three could go to a two, four, or two, one. One to a two could go to a three, six. I think one of these has to be a three, six. And the other one has to have a two on it, right? Could they ever be one, two? No. Yeah, so there has to be a two on here. And there has to be a three, six. So this one is either two, five, or four. Go with the three, okay. Okay. Maybe there's something better to work with, like this region ban that I slightly avoiding. But let's take a quick, uh, deeper look, I should say, into it. So, what is this rule again? The red line is a region ban. It's divided into different sections each time it crosses a box border. The sum of these sections need to form consecutive sequence of values which can appear in any order along the line. So like if this was 1, there would have to be a 2 somewhere. How many are there? First off, 1, 2, 3, wait, how does that work? The sums of these sections. Oh, right. These don't have to be the same digit. I'm thinking region sums for a second. Anyway, let's go back. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So essentially I need two 
create 1 through 15, somewhere along these lines. Now, I don't know what that adds up to. What is a my handy dandy calculator out because I'm not that good with adding in my head. It says 126 total for all of these boxes. I need to do 1 to 15. is 120. Well, I guess I don't have to do 1 to six, one to 15. It could be 2 to 16, right? Does that work? No. So it does, it adds up to 135. So it has to be 1 to 15, which leaves a remainder of 6, which means this has to be 6. So this has to be 3. This can't be the 1. This is not 3 or 6. This is not 3 or 6. This is not 6. This is not 3. Um, this has to have a 2 in it. So this can't. So this is four or five. So that is two. This is not one or two. This is not a four. This can't be a one. This can't be three. So there has to be a five on here. These are one, two, three. So this is the 15. It's going to be a 14 somewhere. Let's continue on this little path for a second. See if it takes me anywhere. This 6 makes that a 5. There's no 4 there. So this has to be the 3, 6. This has to be 2, 5. There has to be a 2 on here, so this has to be the 2. This is from 1, 4, and 5. That's not 5. This is 5. So these are 3 and 6. These are 1 and 4. No, no, no. Okay, sorry, I was thinking about something stupid. I was like, wait, this has to equal 21. That doesn't work at all, but it's not. So it's this one and this one are the ones that add together. So, like I said, I have to go from 1 to 15. I've already got 15. This is 12. You might want to write these down real quick. Not only can I not do math quickly, my memory is terrible. So, absolutely nothing wrong with using a pen and paper when you're solving puzzles. And absolutely nothing wrong with using a calculator. And I'm going to stand by that. So, 15 is out. We just said this was, what, 12? What do we got up here? This is either, well, it can't be 12. So this is six no matter what. So this can't be six, this is four. Okay, so that helps. This has to be the two. So this one is the 10. Okay, this is 11. 
this is either three or six. This is either three or six. So those are both done. It has to be in one of these. So these have to be four, five, or six. This can't be four. Okay, let's continue on counting. So we said these are three and six already. So this cannot be three, six. This has to have a two on it. And it can't be there. So that's the two. So we've got the two done. We've got a one or a four here. There has to be a three down here, so that makes that six and three. Two, no, okay. What else we got? So we need to get one, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. So seven, eight, and nine cannot be done in a single digit. So one, four, and five are left over. So this has to be one, four, or five. This has to be three. Six has to be up here. Well, this can't be five. Okay, so that's a five, six pair. Five, six. We got a one, two, three, four there. I've already got a one. No, I don't have a one. Shush. The one and four are here. So there has to be a, f a single five somewhere. This is the only place it can go. Five and six, six and five. So the five is done. What else we got? This is nine. I probably don't have to do this because I can probably finish it by Sudoku, but I'm enjoying it doing this way, so that's what I'm going to do. So, there you go. So what do we need now? We need seven and eight. This could be eight. In fact, it has to be eight. It's either five, three, or six, two. Where's the seven gonna go? It would have to go here, right? So what are these? These are one in five. That was a five, this would have to be a four. This was a one, this would have to be a two. There has to be a two in one of these. So we said this has to be seven. Yeah, so how do you make seven? Six one can't be because the one's over here. Five two can't be because the five's over here. And three four. So this has to be a three four, which means the two is here. Which gives me a five, two, one, five, and four, one. I said this has to be three, four, right? Yes, yeah, so this is six and three. This has to be the six. So what's this one here? We've got 14. And we've got... Wait, did I mess up my math? Nope, I didn't. This is 13. So seven and eight, we know this was seven. And eight's over here, so we're done with all of this. Okay. Now, this five has to go with the four and the three. And this was obvious earlier because of normal Sudoku, but like I said, I wanted to do it. 
by finishing up my numbers because that's part of the rules and four and one. Hey, and that's the solution. All right, cool. That was a fun puzzle. Like I said, I could have done it faster probably and easier if I would gotten to a certain point and just did Sudoku. But I thought the rule set about they have to be consecutive was a fun way to go about doing this one. So that is H is for Happy Birthday by Rat Finks. Love puzzle. And I will, again, look up to see who he's wishing Happy Birthday for. And, uh, and that was that. And I'll see you all in the next uh, Sudoku self. All right, thanks. Have a good one.